Parking in St. Clements can be difficult at the best of times, which is why most spaces are reserved for residents. But it seems some drivers aren't happy with that. In just three streets, nine parking restriction signs have been defaced, and the councillor for the area has a good idea who may be to blame. People have said to me that this present spate uh, has coincided with the renovation of student housing ready for the for, for a new term. Um, so possibly it's trade vehicles uh, trying to get round the requirement to get a parking permit to, to park while they're doing work on houses in the street. Filming in this street, I saw three vans parked without permits, but in bays where the restriction details had been covered over. So in these cases, the county council would not find them. The flouting of these rules is making life harder for residents. When my daughters come to visit, um, they have permits and they will be looking for a space to park close to the house, but often there isn't one. So they'll park across, the, across my own drive because they're only blocking us in, but they shouldn't really be parked there. So is that the yellow line? Yes, yes, because of the yellow lines. Across Oxford, a hundred signs that have been defaced or vandalised need to be replaced each year. Each one costs £60 plus the cost of labour. And the engineer who's in charge of this at the council says it normally happens when builders are in town. James Ingham, BBC Oxford News.